sets Pavlich away. And the Pav takes them up. Crowley's been able to break and streak forward to the 50. It's all ahead of him. He's got time to steady. Assess if there's better options. But in the end, he takes on the responsibility and kicks a goal. A mighty start to the Dockers and Ryan Crowley. Just quickly on Goddard, guys. We, we know he went down in the rooms just in the warm-up pre-game. Just here he is going through here. Just on the boundary line, he's just stood up now going for a walk. But it looks like he's left inside of his left uh, abductor. Yeah, thigh area, just so that's where they're working on at the moment. Came unstuck again for the Bombers. Sutcliffe was able to get it forward, but now here's the angled kick from Ballantyne, creative for De Boer, and the pressure builds. Pierce takes it from Crozier, and he led them a merry dance inside 50, and most importantly, makes it count. Pierce into the 50, gets it moving while there's some space to work in. Win the lick and the heat was oh. coming. Oh, the three metal players took out each other and allowed Essendon through Watson an opportunity. They need to take an opportunity. Oh, wow. Watson knew that. Captain Fantastic kicks the goal. And then what a finish here, Jared, from Joe Watson. Question is, will he go and tell Ryan Crowley about it after Crowley oh, did the same early? I think you would. You give him a nice little tap. So what about that? to half forward again terrific mark in front of the body from Watson turns sharply into the pocket and Danaher only needed the one mitt we know the kicking has been the major worry for young Joe Danaher and it is imposing here at Patterson Stadium but he stares it down and puts it through and scores a level Watson they shuffle it around again Hibbert. Good movement here from the Bombers. Really good down the middle. And Gleeson knows Quick. he must use it. Must put it through. Could have handled over the top. Took it on himself, the young man. And it's straight back over the chalk again. Hutto. Moons. Yeah, it's been made down here. Got out, obviously, he's subbed out of the game. That leg, uh, that left leg complaint, adductor or, or the left groin with Jeddak now coming on, guys. Jeddak backs his pace. He sees off the ball and then gives it plenty to full forward. Wendelink simply must. And he takes the mark. Now, will he run around quickly? He simply ignored the umpire. Then he said one more <laughs> metre, and he just said, no, this is my angle. This is what I've got to do, and I will do it. He loves to kick it long, Nick Subin, but he's going to run a bit of an arc, take his chance. It's drifting, but it holds enough. moment uh, the Dockers look as if they're capable of taking so many marks deep in the forward line so their game's a little bit more simplified. Bombers spoiled each other, Hardingham has to trust his marking skills but McFarlane experience doesn't often intrude into the forward line but when he does he thrives on the opportunity a big goal for the Big Mac takes it, he'll just skip past, didn't see him, what he did see instead was Tabana. He dragged his arms. He had that. Uh, the arms. Oh, Ashby in a world of pain. Pierce around the corner. And another blow landed by the Dockers. It looked less likely to penetrate. Oh, and that's given it straight back to Matthew Pavlich. He looks up into the 50. Well, he trusts his right boot to thump it 60 metres with a mighty thud. He does. Oh, the Dockers are hot. We heard Lee Spurt Spur talk about work and, and, effort. and effort, and I think uh, Ross Lyon might have talked about it. Yeah, that's a pretty fair bit of ruck work <laughs> from Sandilands, and beautifully finished off too by Hill. Go to the videotape on that. Stephen Hill staying there, really understand, they've got a great understanding between them now. And there's the disparity, the inside 50. Well, 313 disposals oh. for Neil. Stole it and put through another one. It's getting ugly for the Bombers now. And Jeddah has the forward half to himself. Let's see what he can do with it. In hot pursuit is he'll force the quick kick down to Hardingham. Should be able to mark in the square. And does. And consecutive goals for the Bombers. On the counter, Danaher. He had some options inside the forward 50. Duffy are going to have to work extremely hard here. He couldn't do anything about that. And no. And Melkson puts it through, so four goals each in this last quarter. Clark, he taps to advantage. Pierce on his wrong side, has to twirl around. And now Stephen Hill. If anyone can break free, it's this man. He wants a goal. He wants a goal. He gets a goal. He lights it up again. <laughs>